Hello everyone and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon right here on Missledyne Online. That's me, that's my channel. What's up? How's it going? Hey, look at that. Another episode of Legend of Dragoon so quickly. In the last episode, we discovered that uh, Princess Emile or Emily, I don't really know, uh, is having some, some, some issues after she was in a, a horrible, horrible horse riding uh, accident. <laughs> and her, her sister Princess Lisa is a little worried about her as well. So she asked if we could figure out what's going on, and uh, and we we got we got permission to enter the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, which, by the way, is what we are going to be doing in this episode. We're heading into the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Now you might remember uh, in the last episode we actually left a little bit into the Valley. Uh, Miru was saying something I don't even know. Girl's crazy. She talks all the time. Um, but uh, we're heading in there now, and we're gonna we're gonna tackle everything. And I will say that we actually have a very difficult boss fight uh, going in here. And as I said in the previous episode, this is one of my favorite dungeons in the entire game. It is so ridiculously cool, man. Oh, it's not bad at all. I was expecting to have some fun. We were watch out. There's a rock. Oh my god. She just almost died. It still has the backwash from the dragon campaign. The collision of the magic power of the dragoons and winglies can distort nature quite a bit. What? Oh, it just floats away. I don't think you're gonna have much fun from now on. I'm not just following you guys for that. Let's go, guys. We gotta find the garages. You're darn too, and we do. All right, so we wanna head, so you'll see that there's actually like a bunch of these rocks we actually have to use those to jump across and there is a very important rock or a very important item that we can get down here a speed up which is actually one of those uh multi-use items it doesn't go away you keep it forever and it does exactly what it sounds like it speeds up one of your characters when you use it up here we can go ahead and grab a nothing because i don't have room so what if i used a potion don't look at me like that so we have to wait for this rock to come back uh as you do when gravity is a thing so we're we're chilling, we're waiting. How are you guys today? What's going on? Come on! Well, this is a good time to go over some of the enemies that we can find here. So let's go ahead and look at the first two that we run into, or first however many, I don't know. We are going to run into a little erupting chick. This is a wind elemental. Uh, and uh, well, it has 120 health and uh, we missed. So that stinks. It also, uh, it should die fairly easily, but if it doesn't, it's gonna hurt you. So, you know, finish it off. It does have a chance of dropping a Mind Purifier. It gives 32 experience and 15 golds when defeated. But you can see that we just got. There are uh, uh, five new enemies that we can actually discover here besides the boss. A rock, a spider urchin, an erupting chick which we just found, a killer bird, and a dragonfly. All pretty simple enemies. Okay. Oh, we have to go down here. I'm a fool. I was waiting for the rock to come back. I'm so silly. Uh, so yeah, we want to use, we want to run down there, come over, use that rock, and come up here. Uh, now, something I do want to show you is that right up here is a dragonflies those little those little these are the rock fireflies i said dragonflies but they're rock firefly anyway the point is uh you can use those to just level up this is this is you can do that you can train especially learning uh hashel's dragoon levels wouldn't be a bad idea or or maybe miru or um potentially you'll want to get some additions learned that's what this is a good time to do it because you can heal for free all right, so we have a new enemy that we haven't seen yet. These are the Killer Birds, which are dark type enemies. Uh, they have 140 health and die pretty easily. We shouldn't have to worry about them too much, unless, of course, you mess up your additions with Hashel. Let's go ahead and just finish off this erupting chick real quick. Oh my god, 216 damage is so much. Of course, we want to use Shayna to do what she can. Ultrasonic. Good, so we got a little bit of a confusion over on the Shaynas, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and hopefully... There we go! I needed that flurry of sticks. Flurry of sticks. Delicious, 154 damage. Shayna is going to get confused and hit something.
like herself. You gots to love it. You gots to love it. Now, what does stink at this point of the game is that our little boy Dart here, he is capped out on additions. Like, I literally can't do anything else with him right now. Uh, he can't learn anymore. It's it's too bad. It makes me sad. 104 experience from uh, defeating those three enemies. Not bad. The killer bird can drop a panic bell. Not a huge seal, but it is something that it can drop. So I'm going to go ahead and use these real quick again. And then what the real way that we want to head here, I'm not going to train or anything uh, because I can do that off you. It's fine. We're going to head up here and we're going to go through this. I don't into this rock tree looking thing. This is definitely a tree. So we want to come over here and we can actually jump on top. We want to wait for these stones to come over here. Now, here's the big gimmick with this area. You actually can sit and wait on a rock if you want, which is what we're going to do. Ah, two new enemies that I randomly got into an encounter with. This is the spider urchin and the rock. The rock has 220 health. The spider urchin has a uh, hundred health, but a ton of de defense. So um, we're going to focus this rock real quick. 220 health on that. So quite a bit. Just make sure that we take him out. Oh my God, I always mess up Flurry of Sticks. Hatchel's additions are very, very difficult. Uh, at least for me, I have a hard time with them. The reason why we want to focus the rock is because it has this AOE, this AOE spell here that it will use on us. We don't really want to be hit by that too much because it's just kind of annoying. And it's defeated, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Nice job. 23 damage. Wow. Exquisite stuff. <laughs> I always get it on the second one. Oh, shucks. That's all right. Even though we need to work on his, uh, his additions, it's still fine to be able to defeat those enemies and, and then move on with your life. You know what I mean? 84 experience. Not bad. Not going to get us a level, but not bad. So I went the wrong way here, and uh, I tried to go onto this right island over here. We don't actually want to do that. I was thinking that we could use that other rock that's above us uh, to jump, but we can't yet. That's actually just a way that we get back. So we just want to stay on the rock. And we want to jump over here, and we can jump on... Oh, come on! This is this is going to be a theme of this area. So we'll jump on, on this one. Then we'll go on here. Jump on this. Jump here. Wait for the rock to come down to us. We want to wait. And jump down. Jump on this. Which will bring us over here. And we can go ahead and grab... Come on! Anyways, we can grab a Meteor Fall. Which is a spell, uh, a spell attack that we can use. Now... Remember, that stone that we used won't come back, so we have to use this one and pretty much do this whole thing again, which, if you remember, was the stone that I tried to use because I was trying to use it to go up to that route because I forgot that you... Listen, the point is, <laughs> we can do this and come all the way back over here. Now, this is kind of like one of the things that I guess could be annoying is having to wait for the stones, but it's not that big of a deal. Then we just want to wait for these rocks to come over here. And we're going to get off on its first stop. Very, very simple. Cool. And into the next area of the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. So there is... Oh no, a battle. Alright, so come over to the stop. Come on, are you kidding me? I was right there, dude. Oh, this is a poop. So this is actually the, the, the part of the Valley of Corrupted Gravity that gets even more puzzly than the previous ones, uh, which is something that I love about Legend of Dragoon is, is that the dungeons aren't just like, oh, walk through them. There's like, okay, we're going to do all of these weird ass things too. So anyways, we want to jump up here and we want to jump on this rock over here. Now, you'll see these kind of glowing spots. Don't worry about those at the moment. There we go. We want to jump on that. This one. 
to this, which is going to bring us all the way up here. We get off here. We run up here. We... Oh, come on. <laughs> all right. Now I can finally get this, which is the talisman. Now, the talisman is actually super useful because it will... It's an accessory that will defend against uh, uh, instant KOs. You cannot be instant KO'd if you have a talisman equipped. So this is a wonderful time to actually have one. So just want to point that out. Something to consider equipping. All right, so we're going to go this way now. And we're going to get this right here. And we're going to come over to this finally. And you'll see... What? That's crazy town, dude. Crazy town. Now, it is worth noting that the uh, the spider urchin that you can discover in this area, it actually does have a physical attack barrier that we've seen previously in the nest of the dragon, uh, which will allow you to just use your additions for free. So we're going to go ahead and go down here. And then onto this one right here. Don't use the rock or else you'll have to redo literally the entire thing again. So we'll go ahead, use the uh, right there. And then we'll use this rock here to go up to the final item that we can get in the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. You'll see this one will take us uh, on the same map as the um, where the talisman was, but a little bit different of an item. Oh no. What a welcome we got. Oh, look. What is that? I took the wrong rock! Virage. Virage. Huh? What the heck is that? What is worse is it has the complete form. Guys, I'm asking you what that is. It might be the real cause of the distortion of the valley. Wow, that's scary. Shayna. Here it comes again. I hear the voice again. Don't go. It's too dangerous to go. Yeah, we gotta go. We're not gonna make it to the garages without going over this thingamajig. What are you looking at? You guys don't trust me? Is there no way but to advance? <sighs> well, I gotta go back because I... That item that I literally... I can see the chest and I took the wrong rock. Yeah, I, I took the wrong... I took the wrong rock. It's bear skin. But... It is what it is, man. It is what it is. So it'll put us back down here, which is good because that means we don't have to go like super far. We can actually just go. Wait, 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 team. We want to go over here. Use this. All right. <laughs> it's confusing and use this. Come on. Yeah, I know. I know where I'm going. This the guy, again, this is the rock. OK, the, the, do you smell what this rock is cooking? This rock is cooking the final item that we can find here in the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, which I told you, I, I, and you guys didn't believe me, but it's right here. We're going to find it. It's no, no big deal. I love the music when that, oh, man. We get a Night Helm, which actually, if I'm not mistaken, we might already know. Let's see what that actually gives us here. When magically attacked, SP is accumulated, but it makes our magic defense go down, but our defense and magic attack go up. I'm gonna say let's equip it. Also, the more SP, the better, you know what I'm saying? All right, now we can go, no, listen, now we can go do the thing we did before. Okay, I'm on the I'm on the rock that proceeds to the to the virage, the virage, whatever that we uh, that we found and apparently was speaking to Shayna, which we still don't know what's up with that. Remember that we fought one over in Volcano Velude. Uh, there was one that we battled there, 
But that one wasn't complete. That one was like destroyed and we just destroyed it more, right? Like that one wasn't, wasn't a problem. So let's go ahead and make sure that we save right here and equip everything that you have that protects you against magic defense. Make sure that talisman is on one of your characters if you want and spirit cloaks uh, will help a bit as well just to give you some extra magic defense. Now this one is a pretty tough fight. So let's, uh, let's see what happens here. So we come over here, we use this rock. This will carry us over here to this side. We are about to challenge the hardest boss that we have faced thus far. I can't let you go. If we advance, we'll have to fight again. Hey, nothing could be done without meeting the garages, right? What about Lin, Dart's memento, and this Lloyd that you're looking for? Worrying won't help. Besides, it might not start to move this time. Oh, it's starting to move this time. Everyone run! Nope. We have to fight our, 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 uh, uh, the complete form of one of the Wingley's ancient weapons that was used against the dragoons themselves in the war of the Wingley the campaign. Wow, look at this thing. It looks like a rabbit, like a very weird morphed rabbit. So we're actually gonna go ahead and right off the bat, we're gonna use Shayna to attack the head. That's all we're doing here, just the head of the Virage. Uh, and we're gonna hopefully be able to get some points here. Oh, I screwed up pretty hard. 226 damage though, not bad, not bad at all. Dart is going to use his turn using the speed up that we just got. We're gonna use that on Shayna so that she can keep doing those magic attacks. This, my friends, is why Shayna is still in our party if you were wondering why. Uh, and of course, she gets attack again because she's so fast and she's gonna go ahead and she's gonna hit him with another trans light since we have so many of them, I think we'll be okay. Two hundred and four percent, three hundred and thirty magic attack. Now the Virage head here has sixteen hundred health. Uh, the arms that it has has three hundred, and the Virage body has six hundred. I do not recommend ever targeting the body. There's just no need, and of course it's not elemental. Uh, the arms, though, you could defeat if you are having an issue with them. The right arm will use a magic attack that will attack everybody in the party, and the left arm uses the can't combat attacks, which can actually really suck if you don't have um, the if you don't have a talisman or anything like that, or even a way to resurrect, which potentially you might not have, and that could really, really screw your day up. So I'm actually going to use the. Um, Material shield over here on Shayna. That's gonna make sure that she can't be hit by his uh, his can't combat at all. So she'll be able to make it no matter what. So she got three turns. He's just sitting there looking pretty. Uh, we'll go ahead and use another translate on the Virage head. I don't know what just happened there. That was super weird. And uh, we're actually going to attack the head with Hashel here. Preferably do a little bit more damage and maybe get my addition right. Already into the yellow though on the Virage head. 173 out of dart, that's beautiful. Shayna gets another turn. I would just like to point out that the Virage head has not actually attacked at all yet. Hundred and fifty eight percent two hundred and fifty five damage not the greatest But still pretty decent already in the red Yeah, that's what I'm talking about Hashel. Flurry of sticks. Thank you for getting that flurry of sticks not fairy of sticks flurry of sticks Let's go ahead and use another translate on the head. This might be our final one Something's going on with my magic attacks though. It's being a little weird I think my controller button sticking. 246 damage. Was that enough to take him out? And it was! He did not attack us once. He was literally AFK. Wow. I talked up that fight saying it was going to be really hard. We had no issues. Oh, this isn't good. Shayna, no! 
Shayna! Oh, this again. Anything. There is no more Virage. Guard. It's okay now. Shana. And we get a Moon Serenade for that battle. 4,500 experience, 200 golds. Again, we did that fight very easy. Hashel level 17, Shada 16, Dart 19. We got a Rose and Albert level up. Nice. None for Miru, though, which is a little unfortunate. Power that can awake the sleep of 11,000 years. Is that Rancor against us? The Rancor against Dragoons awakening the Verish? Or is that something to do with Shayna? Shayna. All right, here's the thing. I've had a few people in the comments tell me that it's Shauna. And you know what? I believe that there is a voice line in this game where Dart does call her Shauna. But also, that name, the way she spells it, can also be pronounced Shayna. I just want to point that out. I've had, I've known many people that are called Shayna that spell their names like that. Okay, chat. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to Miru here. Thanks to my guiding you, it was totally thrilling, wasn't it? Now we can go straight to the garage, gang. We can go rescue Lynn. Let's talk to Shauna. Shayna. After you came back, Dart, a lot of things started happening. But we have overcome everything, and we will continue. Because I am not alone now. Everybody is with me, and I have you, Dart. You make me strong. I can do it. I can leave any time. Now, the, the, the kind of important thing with that... Is, is that that light, whatever defeated the Virage, is the same thing that destroyed the Eurobolus uh, over in the Limestone Cavern at very early on in the game. Let's go ahead and talk to Rose here, because she looks a little... There must be something wrong with Shayna, and she must definitely see it. Everybody knows that. That's really awkward. Albert, what are you doing, dude? We were saved by Shayna. But it seems that this is not that simple for her. Hmm. The existence of Dragoons and the existence of Virages should have ended 11,000 years ago. But they were brought to life around us. I think we have to go forward to find out more about this. Shayna has changed. She's obtained more strength. I agree. I don't know what's happening to Shayna, but she is trying to solve that alone. She has become a woman. I guess so. It's not the time to talk about this, but... It's time for you to change! Me? It's too hard on Shayna if you continue to treat her like a mere baby sister forever. Doesn't matter. Your dragoon spirit is waiting. We have to think about going. All right. Team, assemble! Let's go, everybody. The garages will be just ahead. That fight went so smooth. I'm so happy with that. That's awesome. You can go backtrack and if you want to go use the, the save point, but I don't know. That doesn't seem like the brightest idea because you can just go up one thing and you're on the world map and you're totally good. And this way over here, we can head to the home of Giganto. Very, very cool. I got into a boss, a fight, not a boss fight, just a regular fight. Ah, this is the enemy I was uh, going to tell you guys about. This is the Bluebird. It will run away all the time. Anyways, if you are able to challenge it, just like any of the unique monsters, you have to do what we've been doing. 
Uh, if you defeat it, you get a thousand experience for defeating that bird, which is a lot of experience in this game. You only get about five gold, but still, a thousand experience makes it a very, very good enemy to farm. Uh, it is so, so good. But the chances of encountering one, actually in this area, I believe it's about 50-50 chance of encountering a bluebird, uh, if I'm not mistaken. The chance of them running away as soon as you encounter them, them is very, very high. So let's actually see if one does show up here. Uh, Shane is going to be our designated attacker if one does show up and doesn't run away. So let's find out. Does she? Oh, good. It didn't run away. When it attacks, it will do 10% of your health every single time. So we're actually going to go ahead and use our dear Hashel here, who is going to use the magic six stones so that we have three turns against Bluebird. And we're just going to hope that we can defeat it. If we can't, no big deal. If we can, awesome. Can't move. Nice. We're going to go ahead and use Shayna here to attack. Remember, it has five health, so we need to attack it five times. Dart is actually going to use speed up on Shayna just to get her to attack just a few more times. Potentially. Now, he's only got one of his can't move. That was two. All right, we got to attack it two more times. Ah, we missed. That's its third. Next time it moves, it will run away. Let's hope Shayna gets another attack, please. And thank you. And please don't miss. Let's get that free 1,000 XP. Yes, there it is. The Bluebird is defeated. 1,000 XP goes to us. That is a lot of XP at this point of the game. Like, like seriously, like a, a very significant amount. Uh, Hashel is now level 18 and got a new addition, Summon for Gods. Very very cool. It looks like nobody else in our backup though got it. Anyways, that is where we are going to end the video today. Thank you guys so much for watching The Legend of Dragoon. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I enjoyed recording it for you. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're nearing some, some really cool stuff happening in this game, so I hope I can keep up with the upload schedule. Uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around and, and uh, sincerely appreciate your patience. I know a lot of you guys love this series. It makes me very happy that you guys wait for it. Uh, <laughs> month in and month out. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me over on patreon.com slash missile online, you can head over there for $3 a month to get early access to videos uh, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, or you can come visit me over on twitch.tv slash missile online where I'm streaming Wednesday to Saturday. I'd love to see you guys there. Uh, anyways, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the complete form of the Virage. Virage. I don't know, man.